Vault opening. Welcome to the vault. <laughs> Hello. What is up, you dazzling diamonds and the others? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Linda Kai, and this is the vault. Anyway, you guys, let's jump straight into this video. Alrighty then, you guys, and in today's video, we are going to be speaking about Okanyi Bao, our bleach queen. We used to call her the bling queen. Now we are going to call her officially the bleach queen, right? Because she is so addicted to bleaching. But now, call her now. It's one of those situations where if Kaimba was to decide to stop bleaching and return to her normal color, it would be a tragic, tragic mess. Not because she wasn't beautiful before she started bleaching, but because of what happens to your skin when you actually transition back to your normal skin color. You get blisters, pimples, discoloration. It's a crazy situation. And at the level that she is of lightness or bleachedness, wow, it would be a very traumatic, honestly, it would be a very traumatic experience for her to return back to a natural color, to a natural state of being, right? She's stuck now. Last week I did a video about Kanimbao and I was talking about her burnt bleach tans and I was asking you guys why the hell does this woman always come back? Like she'll take breaks, it seems to me, from the internet. I don't see her or hear about her a lot. But then when she comes back, she comes back with a bang. Not only a bang, she comes back burnt, right? So that's what she did last week. And she was talking about her hands once again. This whole experiment that she's doing um, is clearly failing in the department of her hands. We don't know about other parts actually, like the hidden parts. We really don't know. But I can only imagine that it's not all sunshine and roses. You know what I mean? So this week um, I saw another video of hers where she was sitting in a very flammable environment, in my opinion. It looks like she was in one of those shops in downtown Joburg where they actually really do sell these products. It didn't look like one of those um, clinics, those really nice clinics where you do your facials and your this and your that. Nah, it looked like a shop. A shop. A shop. It looked like a shop. Probably a shop owned by a person that is not really qualified or licensed to bleach skin. And I'm saying it looked like it was a very highly flammable um, environment because, wow, whoever, that, that lady, I think that lady that was um, scrubbing Kanyimbao's hands in that video is the owner of the place, I really don't know. But, wow, that lady's shop had all these lotions and potions and, and chemicals, you know, you can only imagine. Okay, that space is really highly flammable. But they're using very toxic, very strong products. But that's not the point of this video. Kanyimbao will never stop. But it seems like now, after a year of battling these burnt hands, Coco Fanta hands, she has now finally found a product that is going to work for her, that is actually working for her. In this particular video, this lady was literally scrubbing her knuckles, her hands, so that Kanye can get her desired look or desired shade. But you know what the crazy thing is about that video, you guys? This is, this is what made me think highly flammable environment. Is the fact that, oh, besides I saw those bottles and potions and stuff. Isn't it crazy how that lady that was scrubbing the black off of Kanye's hands was wearing gloves. <laughs> Why was she wearing gloves? Because honestly, that lady herself looked very bleached. But why was she wearing gloves? Why do people wear gloves? Gloves are like a safety... What is this? Uh, PPE or whatever you want to call it. Something for safety, man. To protect you 
or your skin from danger or dangerous chemicals. And the lady that was scrubbing Kanye's hands was wearing gloves. <laughs> I don't think it was for sanitary reasons because let's face it, she looked like she was in one of those downtown Joburg DTJ shops. Not only that, it's not like she was wearing a mask and garments and stuff. No, she was just wearing that glove to protect her hands. And yet she's busy scrubbing Kanye's hand with those, in my opinion, highly flammable products. I just found that very weird. Like, <laughs> looking at that whole video, I'm like, why the hell is she wearing gloves? And another thing is, why is it that these bleaches are so wrinkly? <laughs> those people have extra... I can't say it's really extra skin, but Kaimba was sitting next to that lady. Now, I'm not even talking about the hands, just their faces looked so wrinkly. It just goes to show you that these products are actually really harmful for you. Yes, they will lighten and brighten and burn your skin, but they have another effect. And it's not a good one. Honestly, I could see those wrinkles on both of them because they both look bleached. Right? I don't care how much Kanye Bao can come out and say, I'm trying to give you guys the proper information, the proper way to do things. She's just playing around. She's doing experiments on her skin. And I really hope that people are going to have the good sense to also pick up on these little things. Why was that lady wearing gloves? Why do their faces look like that? <laughs> like, why? Why are they so wrinkly? Something is happening to their skin. And when you look at the before and after picture of Kanye Bao's hands, kind of got to zoom in, you can see the skin is peeling. She says in her post that it's swollen. Swollen, it must be sore. It's toxic chemicals. You can't fix a problem, the dark knuckles, by putting more toxic stuff on yourself. I think Kanye's hands are going to be very nice for now, but I'm like matchy matchy nice for her in her opinion but what about the pain what about what happens in six months but once again i guess kaimba was not one of those people that are looking towards the future of her skin or keeping her skin um, um healthy she just wants a fix now type of situation Anyway, like I said, you guys, I just hope that you guys are going to have the good sense and pick up on these things that it's not a good idea. It's not going to end well. It never does. And Kanye has been the perfect example that it never does end well. And if you're going to start bleaching your skin, trust me, you're going to be uneven. You're going to be wrinkly. And it's just not safe. And then it's going to be something that you're going to have to do for the rest of your life if you don't have the brains to stop. It's just not healthy at all, right? Anyway, you guys, if you guys haven't already, please do like, share, and subscribe to this channel. And if you guys like my videos, please do click on the thank you button. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>